Right then, I just walked straight across there after, just before that I went up Middle Down Grove and I've been on Piney Sites over, right over there. I've been a long way, don't forget. Lost loads and loads and loads of fields. Stopped at the Iron Age Hill Fort, a Stoke camp near Draycott, near Draycott Slights. Just spent a little bit walking around the Esplanade, the Palisade. And um, the weather's definitely brightened up. It's still grey, but it's not misty at the moment. And there's the ruins that I did the other week when I did a different walk. Now I'm heading really back to Cheddar to uh, hopefully get the 20 past 4 bus, otherwise I shouldn't have to put my foot down now if I was going to do a later bus. But uh, most of the ponies are right over, the, right over there. None of them are out around here. No sign of any cows here either. I don't know what the photography would be like. Sometimes the videos weren't working. And I don't know how sometimes I, that happened the last walk I went on and they never came out. Some of them. I'd moved the dial by accident, so I did it a minute ago. I've got to keep checking every time I video, I've got it on the right dial. So there we go, cows on the hill there. Very, very mild for February. Unheard of weather, really. To be quite honest, it's freaky. It's very, very freaky. Anyway, Bob with Reserve is over here. And uh, I'm going to be walking that way, sort of, in a minute. The last time I was over this way, there was a bloke acting a bit suspicious. Um, I keep seeing, seeing to draw them for some reason. We just have a quick look here at this uh, geological feature, or it could have been man-made. Could have been an old settlement. Even here, there would have been settlements everywhere, really. And here we've got another sort of one here. Crook's Peak in the distance. Uh, yeah, see? Could have been mined. Could have been as a result of mining. Where they churned it all up like this. And all these humps and bumps. Are various bits of stone that the, was thrown out. But it could have also been a type of burial. Or barrow. If we're up here, we can see the aerials over there. We can see the track I went up when I went near Black Rock over there. You've got um, Ruber Warren trees in the distance. Axbridge Reservoir. All the usual features are about here. Now, sometimes I go down through a gate over there and go along the top route back towards Cheddar Gorge that way. But I'm not doing that today. I can see somebody walking with two dogs. No, today I'm um, I'm going straight down there really. There's somebody walking and I'll be sort of going heading that way in a minute. For now I'm just sort of hovering up here. I don't know if I can get down there anyway. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down, actually. Um, there is this ruiny area that I need to do another time again. Once again, there's not time to do all this sort of thing. Uh, all, you know, when I'm busy, uh, when I haven't got a lot of time. But there's all that area there where those tall trees are. Um, that's another day. I'm going down now. Going down this hill. I can actually see cows there. That's interesting because I'm supposed to go through that field. 
Ah, that's interesting. Might have to go that way. Yeah, looks like they're in my field. I don't know if I can do that. I think we might have to change plan, everyone. <sighs> looks like I've got to change plan. I've just seen a big, big herd down there. I won't be doing that. I won't be doing that. <sighs> that is the quick route, though. I don't know if I can avoid them. Even, I'm not sure if I can. No, you can't because you've got to get in that field to get into the next one, haven't you? What are you going to do, Sheila? Well, that's the quick way. That's the quick way. It's a big herd, isn't it? I'm not sure. I'm right, going to turn off for a minute here, folks. I've got here where the swallow is, and I've got there's the old shed. Here's the um, ramparts, if you like, the uh, geology. But in this field in here, there's cows. So at the moment, I ain't quite sure if I can pass them or not. I might have to go up and have as little space as. Uh, distance between the gate as I can uh, rather than having to walk past them I might be able to skirt up round them <sighs> yeah, if I'd gone the other way it'd take me much longer That would you could easily add on an hour if I'd gone up on the high route up there so I was up there not long ago I climbed down from up there and I did all this the other week. But there's a big herd in here. A big herd, big brown herd that moo a lot. And they seem to be coming this way. It's different if they were all going up. See that? I can see them already. There's two there in front of me. Oh, there's loads of them. I don't know how I'm going to get past them. They're right in the way. Look. <sighs> right. Not quite sure yet why I'm going to get past these cows. I don't even know if they can get up on the top. <sighs> Pain in the ass, isn't it? And one spotted me. That my gate is past them down there. The gate I got to use. But I might be able to climb through. I might be able to, I'll see. We're not near the lime kiln yet. Oh, things I have to do. Right. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute because I've got to do a bit of hill climbing. Be back on in a minute. Right. Well, I didn't video again. <coughs> I put the camera up there to video me climbing over this fence. But it didn't work. So, apologies folks. I just showed you how to get over the fence. It was easy because the fence pushed down very easily. There is a gate down there which I use if I come through this way. Cows get everywhere by the way. But I'm in the right area now. I'm in the right field. Once I get off this slippery hump, you know, cows are here as well, don't forget. Cows get everywhere. There could be a completely different herd on here. I've got to get on that track over there now. So I'm making my way down. And then I'll plow, I'm going to be ploughing my way to Cheddar. So when I get on that track, it's all downhill. There might be a, a couple of little um, 
Might be a bit of undulation, I can't remember actually, so I'll get down there. But as you see, cows go everywhere. I'm, go I'm heading for there, but there's the gate I would have come through normally. There's a the gate there. We'll take a, a slope here. Looks like a safer bet to come down this bit. So there we go, folks. Bit of excitement. It's a shame, really, that you didn't. The video went off when I was climbing over the fence. I'm having a bit of trouble here and there with things. I might come face to face with the cow in a minute, don't forget. They might have been... That lot over there might be able to get in here, I don't know. But at the moment they're going in another direction. They're all going over there. They're looking at me through the fence, some of them. I'll just say hi to a few. Hello, Mummers. You having a nice bit of foodies? I like your earrings. So like I say, you can see cows. Look at all the marks. I'll be able to get onto a pace in a minute. I don't want to fall. But I'll be able to get into a pace in a minute. It's still quite a way yet. It is still quite a way. I've really, really got to put my foot down in a minute. Right then, folks, I'm going to turn off. This is Bubworth Reserve here. Cows roam all over here, as you can see. There's a little tiny one there, look. A little tiny one. That's what I mean. I don't want to go near them cows with their calves. There's a little tiny one that was, wasn't it? A little baby one. Yeah. Right, let's go for it. Going downhill, I videoed this not long ago when I was coming up it. And I've been, I come up and down there, all different seasons of the year. And you get mushrooms and pretty flowers appearing all times of the year. Loads of cow pack, as you can see. The long horned cows might be up here. But I've never really been worried by them. When I mean, they're big and they've got big horns, but they seem very placid. Right, over and out. Last leg of the journey. I'll just do a very small video here. Um, quite often I come down that track when I've been up the gorge or down it or coming back from somewhere. I put a bit of speed on so I can get make sure I get this next bus. Um, because I have my, my feet are wet, I have been out a long time uh, and I've achieved what I wanted to do which was cross those fields and extra with the Iron Age Fort so this is um, going down the little lane now which leads me down to um, the village of Cheddar um, I don't like this lane this bit here, it's especially when we get onto the stones, it really hurts your feet, especially when you've been out all day. In a minute, not quite yet. I've got to take my really muddy trousers off before I can be seen in the village. I'm absolutely plastered with mud, but we're coming to the end of it now. When I get to the first gate, I'm going to take these off and put them in a carrier bag. But I'll leave them on for now, just in case I do encounter any more mud. So here we go, going down this this path, which can hurt your feet sometimes. Uh, sometimes it's all right. I prefer going down it really, because it's I came up it a few times not long ago. <laughs> So on the 3rd of February 2022, going on for 4 o'clock, the bus comes about between quarter past and, 20 pa and 19 minutes past. Um, it's probably about to leave Wells now or it's on its way. So I always allow myself up to 20 minutes usually to get down here. 
it's all right once you get on the level bit but this can be slippery um, and it's um it can hurt your feet so this is the last leg we've got the reservoir in the distance which I do want to walk around one day on one of the smaller walks I might what I might do there is get off at uh, Axbridge walk around the reservoir and then walk back to Winscombe that's what I've done I've done that before and get on the strawberry line I might do that I might not I've had to go on to another memory card, not not because anything I've used it up, it's just I'm not sure if it's functioning very well. It would be a shame actually if half my video footage of the walk I've been wanting to do for two or three years doesn't come out <sighs> because of my cameras getting old and knackered and uh, so are the cards actually. I need brand new my camera which is definitely on the cards brand new camera I should still use this one it'll be a backup it will be a backup so it's, it functions so it is functioning but um, it's got lots of issues anyway off we go I'm saying goodbye now I'll just take some more photos as I'm going down but uh, I want to get back for the bus and I've got to take these dirty trousers off. Over and out then for now.